Good day everyone, welcome to class. Let's go and start your yin yoga practice for today. Um, if this is your first time to be here on a yin yoga practice, find yourselves um, at the center of your mat. You can do this actually um, if you're in bed or wherever you are, probably in a place where you can't be bothered for a while, maybe an hour. Um, I have my props here with me, I have blocks. Um, feel free to grab anything that you have there with you, maybe pillows, meditation bolsters, um, straps, anything that can support you for today, maybe thick books or long towels. Um, just put them on the side so it's easier for you to grab. Um, sometimes I won't be able to cue you anymore with the props, but feel free to use them whenever you feel like it. We're going to stay for a pose for around three to five minutes, so feel free to find stillness in the body. Or maybe find a way to gently squeeze into the pose, maybe be um, doing micro bends and micro insertions of your movements. So whenever you're ready, we're going to start with a meditation first. We're going to go here in your easy seated pose or your sukhasana. So what I usually start with my easy seating pose is slowly find left or right foot in front, whichever feels good. If you're here seated on the mat, you can have an option to open the thighs, the glutes out wide so you can feel more of your sit bones ground down. And slowly land your hands, maybe here on the knees, maybe here at the center, maybe find your mudra, anything that can support you for the day. Maybe one hand to your heart, another to the belly to be more aware of the breath. Or maybe find your Anjali mudra here, hands in prayer, let the backs of your thumbs press here at the heart center. Now, if you feel like sitting down here for a while is not an option for today, you have your props. I have here my block. You can also find a pillow or a blanket. I'm going to place one on my bum to lift myself up here, elevate here, lengthen the spine, feel tall. So again, notice that we are honoring ourselves for today. Honor your body wherever feels good. And then slowly again, find your hands for everyone. On your next inhale, roll the shoulders to the ears. And as you exhale, we're going to roll them down and back, lifting your heart towards your sky. Allow the ribs to gently plant back in, belly to the spine. You have an option to gaze forward or soften the gaze through the nose. Or close your eyes here for a few moments and uh, find a way to settle in. Taking a few moments to settle in. Allow the body to settle in. A few moments to find awareness in the breath without manipulating how you take your inhales and your exhales. Notice how you breathe. And find awareness in all of the sensations that are here in the body. Notice any tension. Notice where it's tight. And as we practice aligning with the full moon today, we're going to start with the pranayama. And this time around, you have an option to find your own, or if you want, we're going to find a practice of Nadi Sadhana. So find your Vishnu hands, right hand here. Find your second and your third finger, place them here at the center of the eyebrows. And then slowly find your thumb on one nostril and the ring finger and the pinky finger on the other. We're going to go and find our breathing on one nostril and then hold the breath closing both and then exhaling on the opposite side. And inhaling on that side, holding the breath and releasing on the opposite. Remembering that you can opt to do your normal breathing or find your ujjayi breath at this point. We're going to do this for around five cycles. So be aware on how your body feels. Notice how the body is and the mind hiss when you're holding the breath. Allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the hips to be here. Again, you have an option to close your eyes to be more aware of the breath and focus on your thoughts and your feelings. Our goal here for today is to bring love or send love to anything that may arise in their practice. So send love to each thought, to each feeling, to each emotion. Feel free to cry. Feel free to let it all out. This is your practice. This is your flow. 
So whenever you're ready, Vishnu hand, second and the third finger at the middle of the eyebrows. Allow the thumb to be placed on one nostril and the ring and the pinky finger extended to one side. Inhale to the left nostril. Close them both. Hold the breath. Exhale to the other side. Inhale. Close them both. Hold the breath. Exhale to the other side. Inhale. Close. Hold the breath. Exhale to the other side. Inhale. Close the nostril. Hold the breath. Exhale. Other side. One more. Breathe in. Exhale. Close. Hold the breath. Release. One more inhale. Hold the breath close. Exhale up. One more deep inhale. Exhale close. Release. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. One last inhale. Hold, exhale, and release your Vishnu hands, flat all of your palms towards your knees. Notice how you breathe. Aligning your breath with the full moon, let's visualize first. Visualize how the full moon is on top of where you are right now, wherever you're practicing. Allow the light to trickle to each and every part of your room, of your space. To its darkest parts, to its darkest moments. To visualize the light of the full moon, to gently touch each and every cell of your body, ignite each and every thought and feeling that might be here in your practice. Notice how it feels. Soften the face, soften uh, the jaw. Just keep breathing. And as we align with the full moon, as it symbolizes celebration, fulfillment, and gratitude, let's bring awareness in our thoughts right now and bring something into mind that you are grateful for. Align your intentions with gratitude here. Something that you are thankful for, for the past day, the past week, the past month, the past few weeks that you have been meditating since the start of the new moon. Breathing in. And breathing out. If it's too much to put a mantra or an affirmation or an intention for today's practice, let me guide you through one. Repeat this on top of the head. I am grateful for all that has come. And I am grateful for all that is coming to me. I am grateful for all that has come. And I'm grateful to all that is coming to me. I am grateful for all that has come. And I am grateful for all that is coming to me. Allow this mantra to fill up your body like the moon that shines in each and part of your space. Breathing in and breathing out. Noticing the sensations that are here in the body. Breathing in and breathing out. 
whenever you're ready. If your eyes aren't open yet, soften the eyelids. Open the eyes. Welcome back to your present moment. Let's start with your yin yoga practice. We're going to go with your child's pose first. So if you use the block, gently extend your hands forward. Release your props onto the side. We're going to find your child's pose. Finding your tabletop first, shoulders to the wrist, hips onto the knees. Option to tuck or untuck both of your feet, big toes touching at the back. And knees can come together here and gently put them on the side. Allow the hips to ground down on your heels as you extend your hands forward. Allow the heart, the forehead to ground down. Lengthen the side bodies. Close your eyes here for a few moments. To find support in your yin yoga if you feel like this is too much. You can find a block or a pillow, place one at the center of the heels. Or you can find one here in your heart. If you want to go further into this pose, you can find two blocks. Plant them shoulder distance apart and put your elbows there. Extend your hands, maybe in prayer towards your sky as you melt your heart deeper here, forehead ground down. Again, those are the options to go deep. If you want to uh, probably not go as deep as that, you can find pillows and bolsters, place them here at the center. I have my blocks here with me. What I'm going to do is plant them on my forehead so that it's not as much. So again, Know where your body wants to stay. We're going to stay here for a while. So notice how your body wants to go further if you feel like in the next few minutes your body wants to go deeper or your body wants to regress. Perfectly fine. Option to close your eyes again. Breathe into the pulse. Exhale, commit to the shape. Inviting you to find stillness in the body. To open up the path for stillness in the mind.
come back center on your next inhale come back to the present moment open the eyes gaze forward softly come back to your center releasing your props releasing your blocks anything that you may have used simply take a seat here making sure nothing is painful you have an option to stay or let's go to your tabletop swing the hips side to side we're gonna go to our next pose we're gonna go and find your dragon so slowly we're gonna step that right foot first at the side of your right pinky here right shin is straight maybe right knee can come tapping the right tricep if this is too much you can put your right foot farther from the right hand you can also find blocks place them here on your hands to elongate the arms allow the shoulders to roll down and back to press your heart forward allowing your hips to gently release down you can find your left foot tuck you can let it untuck you can find your left knee farther if you want notice how you're going to modify here now if you want your options to go deeper releasing your blocks and then slowly if you have some more in you you can find your forearms to ground down here wherever your hands were again firming the inner thighs together to find activity here on your legs firm the arms as if your collarbones here are planting onto each other engaging into the core but keeping the crown of your head forward close your eyes you can also find the block place them here in your forehead if you feel like your neck wants to rest On your next inhale, slowly release. Open the eyes. Release your blocks. Release your props. 
coming back to your tabletop slowly. Swing the hips side to side. Notice how one side is different from the other. How one side is more open. And find awareness in the thought that you want to do the opposite side. Whenever you're ready, come back center. Left foot steps beside that left pinky. Again, option to plant it near or take it far. Right knee can come farther if you want. Option to regress, plant your blocks here with a hands shoulder distance to lift your heart more, releasing your shoulder blades down and back. Right knee can come near or far. Again, if you want to go further, release your blocks and let's go deeper by placing your forearms down to the ground. Closing your eyes here and navigate your thoughts towards celebrating the full moon and celebrating your season. Whenever you're ready, let's release. Softly releasing the eyelids, open your eyes. 
release the blocks we're gonna come back slowly to our tabletop if you want deeper plant your hands swinging the hips side to side making sure nothing is painful you can also opt to take a seat first if you feel like that was too much once you're ready we're gonna begin on your next pose finding yourselves in your seal so slowly bend your hands forward and then slowly press your thighs your hips your belly towards the ground we're gonna stack your shoulders on your elbows forearms parallel to each other open the palms out wide the fingers out wide roll the shoulders down and back to lift your heart more you have an option to gently plant your feet as wide as your mat, wider than the hips. Tuck or untuck both of your feet. Engage into the core to regress this. You can find your elbows far, place them wide. Or you can find the block, place them here in your heart and your chest to find support there. Like so. Or you can find the block, place them here in your forehead. Like that. And then if you want... Well, to go a little bit further you're gonna turn out your hands to the sides of the mat and then slowly roll the shoulders down and back and extend your arms to your seal allow a, your pubic bone all of your hips to ground down as you lift your belly up to the spine clench the glutes to support your lower back again if you feel any tension in your shoulders roll them down and back lifting your heart press it towards the top of the mat Relax your shoulders, maybe chin can come pressing to the chest if you want more opening at the back of the neck. Or you can lift your gaze a little bit front or towards the top, gaze up high.
Whenever you're ready, open the eyes. Come back to your present moment. If you want to your seal, releasing the elbows, the forearms down to the ground. Release it to the sides. Allow the belly, the chest to fall down. Forehead grounding down to the hands at the center. Close your eyes here for a few moments. Maybe bend the knees, flex the feet, and then wiggle it side to side. So making sure nothing is painful. Once you're ready, release the feet. Gaze forward, release your hands. We're going to go back to your tabletop. Swing the hips side to side. Again, releasing your hips, releasing your hands whenever you feel like it. It's the best possible way to find yourselves back at the center. Let's go to your next pose. Crawl your knees towards the hands. Maybe cross the ankles or just swing them to the side and take a seat once more here at the center of your mat as you extend your feet to the top. Point, flex or flank the feet here. Open the thighs, the glutes side wide. Ground down on your sit bones here. You're going to find your caterpillar or your Paschimottanasana. On your next breath, hands reach up high, lengthen the side bodies. And on our exhale, we're going to hinge from the hips, pressing back as you gently fold down. Extending your hands forward, 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 keeping the spine long. And then slowly, wherever your body wants to land, release the hands down. Maybe hands can stay here on your shins, maybe to the sides. So maybe hands on your outer feet. If you have your flex practice, go ahead and find and pick your fingers onto the big toes. Or maybe take a bite at the bottom. Again, we have a lot of progressions and regressions here. To regress, you can find blocks, pillows, and bolsters. Number one, if you feel like going down is not good for you today, you have an option to find yoga bolsters here. One, two, or three. To gently just fall down like so. You can also find a block, one or two, or a thick block. Place in here at the bottom, at the creases of your knees to take a good bend on the knees as you fold down. And then if you want to go further, you can find a block, place in here on your heels so that you can extend more, but keep clenching the glutes, uh, keep clenching your quads to make sure nothing is painful as you fold all the way down. So again, so much options here for today. We're gonna stay here for a long time. So feel free to do whatever feels good for you.
Once you're ready, let's release from the head, lift yourself up, release your hands to the sides, let's find your counter stretch here, plant your hands at the back, fingertips pointing forward, toes pointing forward as well, if you use any props, just put them on the side, one by one, as low as you can. To counter stretch, bend the elbows, lift your hips up, tuck the tailbone, lift your heart up. And then release, chin to chest, lower back down. Maybe swing the hips side to side. Coming back to the center. Let's go and find your next pose. Going to your dragonfly. Slowly widen the feet to the sides as wide as you can, as wide as you want. This time in my practice, I won't gonna I'm not gonna do it super super wide. Flexing the feet pointing to the sky, knees pointing to the sky. So this is your full dragonfly, but we're gonna focus more on each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my right knee first, plant the heel towards the treasure like so but keeping that opening and this way i can put my left foot a little bit wider if i wanted to and then slowly we're gonna extend your hands forward 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 if you feel like your bum is lifting you're gonna press with the hands to put it down grounding down doesn't have to be super low again find your props here in front or if you want you can find your forearms ground it down keeping the spine long or if you want you can fall down you can also find your props here, pillows, blankets, or block like this to support your head. You know what feels good for the body? This time focusing on the left inner thigh, finding awareness and pressing all of your glutes down as well. And coming back to the question that was here earlier bring into mind gratitude what are we grateful for right now in this present moment
and then slowly once you're ready we're gonna release open your eyes gaze forward releasing your arms crawl back to the center lean back bend the knees plant the feet one by one swing side to side windshield wipers just releasing any tension that may be here Whenever you're ready, come back center. Let's do everything on the opposite side. Again, extending both of your legs wide to the sides, flexing the feet, knees pointing to the sky. And this time around, we're going to bend onto the left knee, left heel to the center. Right knee can come farther, come wide. Notice how one side is different from the other. And then slowly, you can find your props again once back, once you're at the center and then fold down to your own degree notice where this feels Notice where this feels. 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 And then slowly, once you're ready, come back to the present moment and arise. Open the eyes. Crawl back to your center. 
Release your hands at the back. Bend the knees one by one. Plant the feet one by one. Windshield wipers left and right. Going to your next pose. We're going to find ourselves lying down on the mat. With support, lower back, middle back, upper back, head all the way down. You have an option to do this on a wall. You have an option to find Viparita Kirani, extending both of your feet to the top. Point or flex the feet. You can put them wide also if you want. Or you can find your supported bridge by planting a block here on your lower back, on your hip. Keep it at the right length whichever your body wants to go. Plant the feet here, hip with distance apart. Extend your hands to the side or extend your hands up and overhead or maybe hands on opposite elbows. Close your eyes here for a few moments. And again, uh, back with the mantra that we have set up for today's practice. Back with the intention. Back with the affirmation.
And slowly, whenever you're ready, open the eyes. Release the hands. Release your blocks. Plant your hips back down. To counter, you can opt to find your windshield wipers, releasing the glutes. Or you can find your Pawan Muktasana, bend the knees towards your heart. Hands can come on your inner thighs or maybe on your shins or give yourself one good hug. Option to swing side to side if you want. You can massage the lower back. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, we're going to find ourselves in our Savasana. Extending both of your feet to the top of your mat. Finding them as wide as you want, as wide as you can. You have an option to find a supported Savasana. You can find pillows, blankets. You can find a, a towel, place them in your eyes if you feel like that is good for today. I have my two blocks here with me. I'm going to place one in my middle back and another here at the bottom of my head. Hands extend to the side as if opening my heart and offering it to the sky and releasing and letting go of anything that is of no service to me any longer. Releasing any tension that may still be here. Option to keep your eyes closed. And as they say, Savasana is the resting place from all the asanas that you may have done in this practice. As we align with the full moon, let's visualize this idea of what it means, of what corpse pose means. And when you say death, there's this taboo of ending a life. But in this practice, let's visualize us coming out of our physical body as we release all the sensations that we have attached ourselves in. Let's visualize how the feeling is when you are detached from each sensation, each feeling. And with this idea, notice how the thoughts and the feelings that may arise When put in your head, what does death mean to you? Of coming in full circle like the full moon. Of living outside of the physical body. of living beyond each sense. And slowly, once you're ready, let's begin to come back to the physical body. Visualize coming back gently. And once you're ready to begin again, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Maybe swing the head side to side. 
I am so close to focus more on coming back to each and every sensation that is here. Allowing it time as we nourish the final moments of us together. And once you're ready, come back to the center. I still close, release your props, release your blocks, and gently find yourselves in your savasana lying down as you are. Still finding yourselves in the center of the process of coming back to the physical body. And once you find yourselves back in, bend the knees one by one. Plant the feet one by one. Lean into one side, place your head on one arm, bend the knees to the heart. Come into this shape and notice what this shape is. As you finish transcending and as you start coming back, what does rebirth mean to you? What are you starting once more? What are you beginning again? What are you recommitting yourself to? Come back center, finding yourselves in your sukhasana, eyes still closed. Gentle movements to align yourself back to your center. Take your hands on your knees, ground back down once you're ready. Noticing how you breathe and noticing how you feel. Closing your practice today, take an inhale, extend all of your hands up to the sky, hands up in prayer. Exhale, hands and pray to the heart. Cleansing your energy with one big OM. Inhale deep through the nose and exhale and OM. Inhale. Oh. The divine light enemy bows down. To the divine light in you. Namaste.